in my experience with my video production degree, it's been a terrible decision. I had, when I just got that degree, I could barely get any kind of interviews. It had took me almost three years after getting that degree to even get a full-time job offer. And that is pretty insane. That includes that during college, I also had a video production part-time job where I edited police videos. So the way I looked at it at the time when I was like 22, 23, I'm 29 years old now, and I'm unemployed, but uh, I'll probably go into that in future videos. Basically, I had done video production since I was in the sixth grade in 2006, so I had, at that point, when I graduated in 2018, I had already had 10 years of video production experience, so I had a ton of video production experience, and I also had an actual video production job editing police videos. I thought those two combined, I would surely get some kind of job. That did not happen. I did eventually get kind of a video adjacent job towards the end of 2021 that included a trap training contract to it, which the company might attempt to possibly sue me for $15,000 for training me if I quit before three years. So this was not a good job. And that job, I did, t I did take that job, and it caused a lot of other problems. And I'll probably go into that in, in further videos as well. But um, in short, video production degrees, I would say it's probably in the top three of least valuable degrees to get. I would actually only put it behind performing arts and like theater majors. You know, in my situation, I tried to get like an engineering type degree, but I just couldn't get past some of the weed out classes. And I ultimately did a video production degree because that's what I knew and I thought I could be good at. And uh, ultimately, it the whole thing was just a really bad decision. Fortunately, really fortunately, I don't have student debt. My parents paid for it. And they don't understand why I can't get a job and why I'm getting passed over for thousands upon thousands of jobs. But this is just kind of the reality of the situation. It's like, it's really con confusing because I have a college degree, but I have virtually none of the advancement opportunities that the average college degree has. And it's been a, a horrible career decision in my life, and I would not recommend it to anybody. I live outside of Washington, D.C., so it is a major city, but there's virtually no video production type roles. I don't know what my life would be like if I lived in Los Angeles or New York City, but for the vast majority of 